Hello, Earth Signs. Welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a quick message for the week or whenever you receive this message, guided by spirit. Um, yeah, so if it resonates, awesome. I appreciate if you subscribe, like, and share to those who you think it'll resonate too. I do appreciate you. If it does not resonate, I do apologize. You can check your sun, moon, rising, and other placements in your chart. And if you want to book a personal reading with me per usual, the link is down below. Down below. <laughs> and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. This is for my Taurus Capricorn and my Virgos. All right, guys. Y'all already know I'm a cuss. Got a little Capricorn in me. You know. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. What we got for the week for my Earth signs. Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate you. Oh my God, Spirit. Can you can you just give me one? <laughs> they want to be extra with the Earth signs. Okay, Rebel. Then I have completion. Okay, you could have did. You could have did some. You could be doing some re rebellion shit. Well, I got two, two, and three, three. Period. Okay, look up them angel numbers. You are completing a cycle because you decided to do something against the norm. Okay, or against what other people said. You followed your intuition and did your own damn thing. Okay, spirit, can you tell me more about this week? So this week, I feel like that's happening. If it hasn't already, okay. But I feel like there's more that's being led to, um, you doing that. Or did that. Or going to do that. <laughs> Spirit, what you have? I'm going to use my tarot deck. Can you tell me more? The Knight of Cups. You were not accepting a bare minimum. Okay, I feel like somebody was trying to offer you something. Okay, this could be love. This could be a job. This could be just um a family situation. Where you feel like you're not putting up with people who is in and out of your life. Like leading on you emotionally yeah to a to a pinnacle like this is somebody who come back and forth who's wish-washy you're not fucking with wish-washy people this week i'm also getting like things are going to be balanced out because you did not accept a, a offer that was like you weren't negotiating you want you want what you want that's the energy i'm getting i'm also seeing that you're setting up uh standards i'm feeling like you're setting up standards this week as well so i mean i don't know why i said standards yeah so things that are not in, in your standards your higher st you're setting your bar high this week okay i feel like and it's gonna pay off for you because you know your worth you're stepping into knowing your worth okay yeah the moon card could be with a cancer uh with the two of swords yes so i feel like you're you're giving someone an ultimatum or um you letting people know what it is and what it isn't because you feel like and you're also not telling people your moves. You're being, you're being very selective with your moves. Because I feel like people were trying to... um pe People could have had hidden motives trying to make you make a decision that it wasn't right for you. Okay? Somebody could be intentionally doing that. Spirit, can you tell me more? But I feel like you're completing a cycle. Um, It could be with how your, your mindset is. Yeah, the star card. You 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 are. Mm, I don't know why I'm stuttering. The three of wands and the star card. You could be distancing yourself from people who you feel like don't know your worth. Okay, this could be a relationship, a friendship. Take it as it resonate. And you could also be um, knocking down the old, and you're putting up new dominoes in a new direction. You're going towards a new direction. I feel like um, somebody could be moving. Okay, somebody could be guided. I feel like you're praying. Also, I feel like you're praying for direction. Okay, and I feel like you're accepting spirit guide's guidance. And this is why spirit is in the old and giving you new because you are following their guidance and not everybody's um, opinions. Okay, because you're like, my spirit guides know what they're saying to me. That's the, the energy I'm getting. And you're not falling into temptation because I see temptation here. So you're not being tempted by just bare minimum. Yeah, with the nine of wands. Take it as a applying your life. But I feel like you're fed up. Okay, I feel like you're fed up with the Queen of Wands. You could have fire in your chart. I feel like because you you know what's best for you and you know your worth. And I feel like you are doing a lot of self love, a lot of self reflection. And I feel like somebody's getting a lot of attention. Okay, um, I'm also getting the energy where you're you are seeking what what makes you passionate about your life this week. Okay, I feel like that's what you're going for. I feel like you're tired. I see four four four. Yeah, like you're tired. You seeking happiness. You're seeking happiness for yourself what makes you happy because i feel like for so long you're letting other people make decisions for you that does not even make you happy 
okay maybe you were doing things that does not make you happy it could be a job it could be a friendship you could be hanging around people that don't make you happy anymore and you're starting to learn like okay just because we grew up together just because we're friends that don't mean i have to uh be around you all the time like if i don't like your energy i'm also getting even in a relationship i feel like you're you're fed up in a relationship as well for some of you guys okay two of wands and the eight of pentacles yeah somebody's definitely um made a choice about a job as well like maybe somebody decided to make a choice about a job somebody left a job okay somebody could be um going towards a new job or going towards financial freedom but i feel like somebody's taking a risk okay you're taking a risk in a relationship you're leaving a relationship or you're going towards a relationship somebody's definitely taking a risk at something and it's going to really benefit you it's going to really make you happy it's going to bring you happiness six of wands it's going to put you in a pedestal in an energy like you could definitely have fi uh fire in your chart yeah with the two of cups in the um in the six of wands this is high level relationship. This is high love, level love, okay? Maybe you and your relationship had trouble and maybe you were going outside seeking advice and then you realize, let me go within myself and seek my own advice from my spirit guides. Like, spirit guides, what you telling me? Like, that's the energy I'm getting and you listen, okay? You're doing what makes you happy, okay? That's the energy I'm getting. It's like you're making choices for yourself. Somebody could be signing a, a modeling contract I see this week. That's what I see for some of you guys. A modeling contract for somebody. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six of Cups. Then I have the Four of Swords. Yeah. It could be people you grew up with or people from the past. Like, I feel like you had to take a break from them because they were just chattering in your head. Like, I feel like you're taking a. I feel like this week you're taking a break from them because they keep. This is all I'm seeing with the chariot. I feel like you're moving forward. I feel like things are moving forward for you because now you're finally realizing to take the guidance of your spirit guides with the hangmans and the four cups. Okay, because before maybe you were in, hanging on because you were not paying attention to your spirit guides advice. You was looking at everybody else's advice who was not giving you right advice. Honestly, I feel like the people who are giving you advice um, are really hating on you. Like I feel like they are jealous of you or like maybe they are not, not all of them because I feel like some of them do have a good heart, but like maybe they're projecting on you and i feel like you had to learn how to ignore that because it wasn't getting you anywhere okay but this week i feel like you are going to do what you want to do okay despite what argument 737 look up the angel number despite what goes off like you're going to do what you're going to stand in your truth you're going to stand in your truth you're going to be strong you're strong you can have sagittarius in your chart or leo definitely have fire so i feel like um yeah this is you you're gonna be at peace with your decision you're going to be confident with your decisions you make this week. And I feel like it's going to balance you. And it's going to make you um, strong. Okay? It's going to balance you because you're happy. You're you're happy. And I feel like somebody is coming into union. Somebody's um in a relationship. You guys are going to compromise and be at peace with each other. And understand that your love is strong. Like, that's the energy. It's like, I don't care what nobody say. I love you. Like, that's the energy I'm getting as well. Spirit, what is the last words you have for my... uh? earth signs yes it's gonna work in your favor do your thing do which what's best for you fuck them because you're completing a cycle and you know that it's not feeling good anymore you know you need to shift with the energy people want to keep you stuck in the past i don't even know if they want you to but i mean people were giving you advice that wasn't resonating with your next chapter and you knew that yep the devil card with the page of wands yeah you're not taking their advice somebody was giving you bad advice Okay, somebody could be talking about you a lot. The Ten of Pentacles, this is what you're aiming for. What makes you happy long term? You're making decisions that makes you happy long term. And your spirit guides, they got you. 909, there's a complete of a karmic cycle. You're going towards what makes you happy. Yeah, it's the end of an old foundation. And then it's at the end with the new. The happiness, what makes you happy Okay, I'm also getting like family is going to be mad about the decisions you make this week because you're going to make them. You're not taking their advice because you're you doing what makes you happy. Not a wands. Whatever it is, it's something creative. It's something fun. It's something you should do. Something you're guided. I feel like you don't you won't even know this week where it's going to lead you, but you're letting spirit guide you and it's going to end up beautiful. You're going to be very happy. Okay, and you're going to be in love for some of you guys. You're going to be in love. Somebody's going to make you make you very happy you're going for this relationship are you going for, to further this relationship or something like that and it's going to make you happy 
whatever you're guided to do if it's a new job it's going to make you happy whatever it is decision you make this week do it for you and only you love you guys